see its first new nuclear power plant in decades. That's because a new law ends the moratorium on constructing new plants in 2026. Illinois Capitol Bureau Chief Max Cotton explains what it means for the future of Illinois. New nuclear power plants could be coming to Illinois. Last Friday, Governor Pritzker signed legislation ending the state's now 36-year-old moratorium in 2026. It will allow companies to build small modular nuclear reactors. Republican State Senator Sue Rezin was the bill's primary sponsor. This advanced nuclear reactor technology certainly provides reliability. It provides clean power and is an option to companies who uh, really are high intensity um, users of energy. Think steel mills, gas plants and heavy manufacturers. Utilities could also use the technology to power our homes. Resin says future energy reliability, particularly in southern Illinois, was a major driving force behind the legislation, especially as the state has banned the use of fossil fuels starting in 2045. We need reliable power because the large energy users, your coal plants and your natural gas plants are going offline and all of the new energy is not coming online soon enough in order to backfill that void. Advocates who oppose the legislation fear nuclear technology isn't safe. But nuclear is nothing new to Illinois. In fact, right now, about half of our energy comes from nuclear power using older technology. That's according to the state's emergency management agency. And Resin's co-sponsor, Representative Lance Yednak, says this new technology is safer than what we're already using. It's not brand new technology, it's taking existing technology and finding a way to both make them smaller, make them commercially available and safer because the advanced nuclear reactors actually uh, are safer in the long run than our generation one reactors that are in, in service right now. And before anyone can start the permitting process for a new reactor, the Illinois Emergency Management Agency must create new rules for the technology's use. In Springfield, Max Cotton, WGEM News. But we won't see any small modular reactors in Illinois anytime soon because the permitting process cannot start until 2026.